Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about everything that I've been loving for the month of November. So, yes, if you guys are interested in all of my favorites for November, just keep watching. I honestly think that three of these products have already been in a favorites video, but I just wanna talk about them again because I reused them this month again and I remembered why I love them so much. So the first little combo, because I've been using this as a combination, is my Boshia, is that how you say it, Boshia? Balancing Facial Tonic. I think that this was in my first skincare routine ever, and I honestly always, always, always have this in my collection. When I run out of it, I notice a difference in my skin immediately. I've mentioned a million times that I get texture on my forehead. This is like the only thing, or one of the only things that I notice gets rid of it right away. And not just that texture, like my any texture that I have anywhere on my skin. I use it on a cotton pad when I get out of the shower and I just clean my face with it. This month, since we've had like holiday parties and stuff, I get lazy with my skincare. I do, if I drink and stuff, I always take off my makeup, I always wash my face, but I never want to like put on my serums or my moisturizers or none of that. Like I just, I don't, I'm too tired, like after a party and stuff like that. So what I always like to do is use a spray instead of a moisturizer and instead of like serums and stuff. So I got this little sample. This is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. And I've mentioned this in a favorites before. The first time that I ever got this, it was sent to me and then I went to go repurchase it. I saw the price and I was like, you know what? I have a lot of facial sprays in my house. Let me finish those prior to repurchasing this. And I, and I didn't end up repurchasing it. And then I got another little sample of it and I'm gonna go repurchase it. Like despite the price, this is something that works, okay? Like sometimes it's very hard to justify very expensive things and especially when it's something that you're literally just spraying on your face, something that is not going to last a very long time. But this is, without a doubt, one of the, if not the best, like facial sprays ever. You can use this above your makeup. I've been using it just to like preserve it. I've been using it after I apply my toner almost every single night. And I have noticed a difference in my skin. Like I, I just noticed that my skin looks more plump. It looks dewier. It's not as dry. It's very happy, very even. and my texture is like non-existent right now which is very very rare for me definitely definitely recommend these two sprays if you guys do not want to spend that much money on this spray like the bigger bottle i'm talking about the price of the bigger bottle um then you can also get this one it's not as good but i do want to mention it because i've also been using it like crazy it's just the fresh rose floral toner i also have this one in the bigger size and i really really do love this one it plumps my skin it just makes my skin happy and even you know it, it just calms down my redness it doesn't work as magically as the Caudalie one, but it's very good as well. And it just, it doesn't irritate my skin. So if you're too lazy, these little facial sprays, like after you tone and stuff, should do the trick. This next thing I talked about in my gift guide, and I also talked about it in a vlog as well, but this stuff is amazing. Like it's what I've been using for the entire month of November. And I think it has been attributing to my good skin this month uh, along with those products so i've been using this about three times a week a little bit goes a very very long way so i believe this is like 28 dollars and i honestly think that this is gonna last me like three years <laughs> i feel like clay masks are the most effective for me however since i have dry skin i have to be very careful with the clay masks that i use so this one does not dry me out. It evens out my skin. It kind of brightens my skin as well. The combination of everything has just really, really been good for my skin. Next, I have an eyeliner. And I've recently gotten back into putting on liquid eyeliner. I didn't do it today. I wanted to go for a more natural look today, but I feel like liquid eyeliner makes my eyes look better than anything else, especially like if you're going to be photographed and stuff. The, the full wing that I do is like my favorite wing to do because it's just so easy and it looks very beautiful in person, very natural. I noticed that it does not add that drama to your eyes that liquid eyeliner does. And I just think that these are the most user friendly and I get the best wings with them. So this is by M Cosmetics and it is their felt tip 
illustrative eyeliner and it's just black and it's very very extremely matte which is my favorite the most important thing is that it does not transfer on me and it lasts all day if you guys don't know i've been on a hair journey for like two months already and last month i talked about a lot of hair products but i did purchase some things at the end of last month beginning of this month that i want to talk about in this video that i really really love as well hair has been taking up a lot of my channel and my vlogs and stuff so if you guys are over it then you can just fast forward this next section so i'm gonna start off with oils and i bought two oils that i feel have really made a very positive difference in my hair it is the tropic isle living jamaican strong roots red pimento hair growth oil this is an oil that i can use all over my scalp on wash days i love doing like scalp massages i feel like it really stimulates hair growth and it just feels very good i do notice i have like baby hairs growing all over here and i have like small little hairs you know i have i am getting a lot of new growth so this is one oil that i've been using for that if you're looking for a good oil to give yourself scalp massages but that you can still wash out perfectly fine in the shower. This is definitely something that I recommend. I got this on Amazon. I will link it down below. The next oil is something that I use on very specific areas of my hair because it is a much thicker oil, which is much harder to wash out in the shower. This is again from Tropic Isle Living. It's 100% natural, multi-purpose Jamaican black castor oil. And I think that that, like this castor oil has really also helped my hair grow and feel fuller and thicker and just happier. And the quality of my hair is just night and day. So I really recommend this, especially if you have a lot of like sparse areas on your scalp and stuff. I only use it right here because this is where I lose hair, this side, not even this side. This side is fine. But this is where I lose hair the most, so I just concentrate this here. And all I do is stick my finger in here, bring it out, and then massage it into this area. This is gonna last me forever <laughs> because it's so thick and I only need such a small amount. And finally, the last oil that I'm gonna talk about is an oil that I use after I'm done styling my hair to like tame frizz and add that extra bit of moisture, especially on like second, third, and fourth day hair. It is just 100% pure organic argan oil, and this is by Aria Star Beauty. So argan oil is my favorite oil to use on my hair because I feel like it does a good job at taming the little frizz that I may get, but it does not weigh down my hair and it does not make my hair look oily or feel oily at all. Of course, I only use like three drops of this for my entire hair. I start at the bottom and I work my way up to the top. Okay, next I have a gel and a cream that I've really been loving. First, I use this little guy, which is the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Defining Cream. It says it locks in moisture, it's for de frizz, it adds shine and it defines your true curls with rice curl complex and i only use a very very small amount of this because i don't want anything to weigh down my hair and i find that creams can sometimes be very heavy uh, if you use too much of it this is what i use right after i use my diva curl believe in which i talked about last month i feel like this does the best job at preventing my ends from feeling very, very dry. Like even if I didn't use the argan oil, my ends are still not extremely dehydrated like they would be if I don't use something like this. And then I go in with the gel and it's the Not Your Mother's Curl Talk Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. Same thing, it's anti-frizz, flexible for a flake-free firm hold yeah it's what i have in my hair today it's what i've been using for like the entire month of november it doesn't make your hair feel hard it makes your hair look very natural but you know you still have product in it to tame your frizz and to kind of just lock in your texture i think that i actually like this one a little more than the diva curl one that i talked about last month but the diva curl is still an amazing gel it just depends what you're going for like i still use that one i just have to use less of it i also feel like this does a better job with frizz control like i said not bulletproof i'll let you guys know when i find the holy grail amazing product that can tame my frizz like a hundred percent in this humidity but as far as all of the gels that i currently own this one so far does the best job at taming my frizz like when i go out and stuff and i'm gonna be outside for a long period of time i have always used a deep conditioner 
instead of a regular conditioner. So on the days that I don't deep condition my hair, like on wash days where I don't deep condition my hair because I'm just too lazy to or whatever, I use this even sometimes on days where I do deep condition my hair, but I just feel like my hair needs protein. I use this because it has protein in it and this is so, so, so good for helping your hair find its texture again. Really been loving this. This is the Diva Curl Deep Seat Repair seaweed strengthening mask and of course this is sulfate and silicone free it moisturizes my hair without making it oily or making it you know stringy or weighing it down or anything so if you're looking for a deep conditioner and you're somebody that likes to deep condition as opposed to regular condition then i recommend this i haven't used this outside of the shower as like my pre-poo deep conditioner but I'm sure that it's it's going to do a good job outside of the shower as well. I use this in the shower. So we're moving into the fashion portion of this video. And the first thing, let's start with what I'm wearing. I think I talked about this in a haul. This is my Commando. I think that's the brand. Bodysuit. It's a bodysuit that feels like pantyhose. And I love it. <laughs> it doesn't cut me at all. It fits so beautifully underneath clothes, no matter what you're wearing. You could wear tight pants and you won't see a line of demarcation. It's so like breathable and comfortable and it looks so elegant. Next, I have a couple of things from Aritzia because I was sent a couple of things from Aritzia. I did the Aritzia haul. I'll link it in the cards. And the first thing that I wanna talk about are these pants right here. This is by Little Moon and I got a size six. It comes up very, very high on the waist. It just, it fits your waist perfectly and the rest of your body perfectly. It's not too big. It doesn't stretch out throughout the day. I honestly think that everybody needs a pair of pants like this in their collection. Another pair of pants that I've really been loving this month, which is also from Aritzia, are these right here and they're also very high-waisted but they're not cropped these are the wilford free pants i'll put the exact names and the sizes down below i got these in a six as well they fit true to size they come up very high i can wear this with like a plain tee a tank top a nicer shirt tucked in a blouse anything i love wearing these with like sneakers so i like making these a little bit more casual but they're so comfortable the pockets are very comfortable very big they do stretch out a little bit more than these but not to a point where they're like unwearable and the last thing from aritzia and i'm sorry that almost everything in the style portion is from aritzia but i had to mention this because this is another piece that I think everybody needs in their collection, and it's just a jacket. It is their, again, Wilford Free jacket. Don't know the name, so I'll link it down below. I got this in a medium. I wore this in Portland like three of the days that I was there, I think. I think that this is one of the most comfortable jackets ever, especially if you live in a hotter climate. This is something that you're going to be able to wear for many 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 years this is something you could throw on almost anything and make it so like cool looking and just make it a little bit more casual i'm pretty sure this is like 100 percent cotton on the outside very comfortable material so it's not something that you're going to suffocate in so if you live somewhere that even if it's like in the 70s like you'll be fine next i have the watch that i'm wearing and i think i mentioned this in my gift guide as well this is the rosefield boxy watch i love how this looks like you stole it from your grandma or something it's so dainty but it still makes such a statement it looks so elegant and i needed something like this in my collection i did not have an all gold watch i have rose gold but i didn't have all gold so definitely recommend rose field if you're looking for very very beautiful designs and they do have gold watches so the necklace that i've been wearing for like this entire month is this little necklace right here this is the Majuri moon necklace they recently came out with a new collection of all of these little necklaces and i chose the moon necklace and it kind of reminds me of my zodiac necklace but that one i just wore it to death so i like this one it's even more dainty than that one and the back has such a cute little detail it's like a royal blue detail and it has their m for Majuri. i've been wearing this for the entire month ever since i got it and i absolutely love it you guys know 
I have to mention something from a jury like every month because I'm obsessed, okay? So I recently placed an order on H&M Home, which I've mentioned a bunch of times that H&M Home is one of my favorite places for like very inexpensive decor. I went a little vase crazy actually, but I'm just gonna show you two of the ones that I've really been loving. So I actually bought this one in a set with like its larger brother um which i have in my kitchen right now but i wanted to talk about this one because i didn't know what to do with this one and now i really love like what i did with it so it's just a vase like this which it's an amber beautiful vase and these little vertical lines are currently my favorite thing ever what i do is i put a candle in it the light of the candle looks so beautiful when it shines through this and you can't really tell, like you can't see the color of the actual candle. So if you have a candle that you wanna hide, maybe it was gifted to you or something, but you don't like the way that it looks, and maybe you just like the way that it smells. Putting it in something like this can just cover the way that it looks, but you still can burn it and stuff. And then the other vase that I got, which I currently have on my desk, is this one. I love the design of it. I think it's so beautiful. Not the most practical vase in the world because look at how I have to put my little uh, bunny tail grass, but I love this. I, I love glass like this, like very vintage looking pieces to mix with my more modern decor is my jam so the last thing that i wanted to show you which again is something that i mentioned in my gift guide these are my airpods and i do not know what i was doing prior to these headphones i really don't uh, especially me that i'm always like editing and i'm always on my computer like listening to stuff and what i mostly like this for is for when i'm cooking if i'm listening to like a podcast or if i'm listening to like a youtube video this is like a lifesaver or if i'm vacuuming oh my god like for like what this is the best thing ever you know i can leave my phone in the kitchen and i'll be vacuuming in my room and the connection is still perfect you know so i 100 percent recommend these put them on your christmas list gift them to somebody i promise you they will love it you will love it I love it. So yeah, that is everything for this video. I know that I didn't post that many videos for the month of November, but I'm gonna try my best to post as often as I can for the month of December. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.